So based on a lot of misunderstandings on the group and my posts, I figured that maybe the better way for me is to do videos rather than um, written posts because I am a throat being. I feel like very often people don't read my posts and uh, yet they have opinions on them straight away based on the first three sentences. So this is what happened the last time I, I was... Um, I wanted to make a post about uh, what co color actually is and how I see that we are all so very confused about it. But the problem is I started a post by talking about how I've been studying bass and uh, my studying of bass actually triggered this um, insight. And it's not, you don't have to understand bass in order to understand this. And that is that saying that we hear non-stop, that color is the exit frequency. So when we're talking about the, the crystal, when we're talking about neutrinos, and I'm sure uh, most of you have heard this, uh, or at least have seen the, the image depicting this, that is that the neutrinos hit the crystal, and the place where, where this happens is called base. It's the entry frequency. Um, so base is basically how information enters the crystal. Um, the next stage of it is the center of the crystal, which is the tone, which is that inner frequency. And the exit frequency is color. So just by thinking about this a little bit, and I've heard this a million times, but I never paid much attention to it, as I'm sure was the case for most of you. But if we see color as an exit frequency, how can we tell people how to take thing, things in based on their colors? How to, what kind of food to take in? What ingredients to, to take in? In what way to take these ingredients in? This would make sense if color was some kind of an entry frequency that we had a conscious access to. But that's not what it is. Color is just the the construct of the information that our brain um, at the end comes up with. It's kind of like a result of the information entering our brains or our minds. Anybody who tells you that base should be avoided, that it's too complex, that um, it's too difficult to understand, that it's not practical, um, you should not listen to. You should try it for yourself, really. And I started with base. I actually, um, I read um, history of geometry when I was very fresh um, in human design and I did not understand a thing. And it's not because it's difficult, it's just because I was not familiar with the terminology that I am now familiar with after um, studying certain other things before getting to the base. But I believe that once you are done with colors, with tones, with resonances, with holistic analysis, with um, advanced mechanics maybe, before or after that, it doesn't matter, but it's just then you have the necessary knowledge of the terms that are being used in that book. So I just want to try to give a little example and um, like how this whole thing operates in me, let's say, in my brain. Um, and I want to say I have just read History of Geometry with full understanding and I see that there's a lot of things that are not explained there. He just basically explains the, um, the mechanics of it, how it all works, but he does not give interpretations of things yet. So I'm still, um, I'm yet to get there. Um, I actually don't have a base theory so um, I have it in audios and I hate audios, so um, uh, we'll see. Uh, hopefully I'll get there. But anyways, this is just an example of um, how it operates in me. So I am on my, um, my designs on earth. My color is two, close taste. My tone is four, inner vision, and my base is one. So it does not make any sense to me um, to be told that I should eat food in a certain way in order for my brain to um, function as it's supposed to function. 
Um, this is also like the, the kind of a conflict that we have between people who are saying there is no choice in anything. You should not manipulate um, a digestion or the design side. You're not aware of it at all. And then the other side that says, yeah, without PHS, without correct eating and correct environment, none of this will work out. So um, uh, when I am being told to eat as a close taste, which is a vague thing to begin with, because a lot of people will just say I have to eat what I like. The others will say I have to eat in a very primitive way, um, local foods. And I experimented with this for a while and I've tried all kinds of things. And I, yes, I can convince myself with my mind that it all works, that it all makes sense, that I feel better when I eat the raw food from my garden. Um, but it's again that thing, it's a danger of the mind, you know. And I do believe that we can affect design in some way because it is the physical manifestation of us. It is something that is tangible, that we see, that we can, uh, that we can help, that we can... It's a, the vehicle is, like if you think of it as a vehicle, we can fix it when it's broken, right? We can upgrade it, we can, we can do stuff with it. With the mind, we can't really do much. We're just there to observe it. But now I get to the other um, kind of perspective of things where I'm questioning whether we can have any influence on anything in our charts at all. Um, so as Ra has said a million times, mine is there just as a measuring tool. So we can use it to measure our correctness. We can refer to back, refer back to our charts and see where we are in life and see how those themes played out in our lives. But making decisions based on our um, whether we have some definition or not, ma making decisions based on like somebody recognizing us and we looking at, oh yeah, I don't have that channel. I don't have a I don't have a gate of depth, so they can't be recognizing my depth. Like, it's nonsense. It's really, like, nitpicking. So, um, yeah, I'm talking too much here now. So, when it comes to my brain, the way my brain takes in information, um, takes the neutrinos in, is through the base one, which is the base of movement, which is the ultimate uh, yin um, um, base. It's the beginning. It's the ultimate receptiveness. So I can definitely resonate to this. My brain works in that way. I take everything in. And this can also make very much sense with my right variable. I am I'm three times right oriented. So I am very receptive. And I can take in loads of stuff. But... What happens then is that the stuff that gets in then needs to sit in this pool, what I call pool of inner vision. Inner vision is delayed vision. It's not psychic vision. It's just delayed vision. Um, it's seeing after things have passed. It's seeing after something has already occurred. Um, which means that the things may sit in my inner, in the inner frequency, in the tone for quite some time before my brain actually is able to get to this construct, to the color, for this information to exit. And that is through closed taste for me, which means that I will in most cases hate the information that entered my brain, which is a case. But the problem here is the surface which is one of my lines on that side, one of my gates is a 29.5. And uh, it's the gate of saying yes, it's the inability of saying no. So even though I will hate something, on the outside I will just say, yeah, okay, no problem. But I will hate it, right? So this is just how it comes out on the surface. And the way the gate and the line appear on the surface it does not have to match the construct that your brain ultimately came up with, the color. So for me, it does not make any sense that we take things in based on our colors. We take things in based on our bases, but they are so sensitive and they're so tricky and we can't ever be sure. So therefore, I see 
color, I see environment, digestion, motivation, all these things as the core. And I've seen many memes uh, the other day, somebody in the human design in a group posted something about um, there is two rows and one says enlightenment and the other one says um, talking about enlightenment. And the talking about enlightenment queue is full where the other one is empty. Nobody's interested in enlightenment. Everybody's interested in the philosophies, in the theories. And so am I. But then I, that, that is why I come to this question. So I'm not going to offer you any truths now. I'm just asking you to question. To see that actually all kinds of spiritual um, things offer you the same result and that is enlightenment. It's just the road to that that is different. And the human design road is a very, very decorated road. So, yeah, it's just up to each of us to have our own understanding of it and to, act to see what actually works for us or not. Because mind is what makes us different than the other species. So is it really so bad 